a separate subject if I, if I can. I'm shocked. Can you, I'm shocked. You, you seem from your tweet today that you were upset about the uh, Roger Stone sentencing. Did yeah, you, I thought it was ridiculous. Did you ask the that Justice that, Department no, to change speak that? To the just, I'd be able to do it if I wanted. I have the absolute right to do it. Uh, I stay out of things uh, to a degree that people wouldn't believe, but I didn't speak to him. I thought the recommendation was ridiculous. I thought the whole prosecution was ridiculous. And I look at others that haven't been prosecuted, or I don't know where it is now. But when you see that, I thought it was an insult to our country, and it shouldn't happen. And uh, we'll see what what goes on there. But uh, that was a uh, that was a horrible aberration. Uh, these are the I guess the the same Mueller people that put everybody through hell, and. Uh, I think it's a disgrace. No, I have not been involved with it at all. Would you consider commuting or? I don't want to talk about that now. I think it was a disgraceful recommendation. What do you think they ought to be Robert? ashamed of themselves. What, what, what they've done to General Flynn, what they've done to others, and then the really guilty ones, people that have committed major crimes are getting away with it. Uh, I think it's a disgrace. Do, do you know who Anonymous is? I don't want to say, uh, but you'd be surprised. Would you be surprised? But I don't want to say. And can you talk a little bit more about some of the recent departures from the White House, including the Vindman twins and, no, and, and, and pending departures? I obviously wasn't happy with the job he did. First of all, he reported a false call that wasn't what was said on the call. What was said on the call was totally appropriate, and I call it a perfect call. I always will call it a perfect call. Uh, and it wasn't one call. It was two calls. There were two perfect calls. Uh, there was no setup. There was no anything. And he reported it totally differently. And then they all went wild when I said that we have transcripts of the calls, and they turned out to be totally accurate transcripts. And if anybody felt there was any changes, we let them make it, because it didn't matter. Uh, so we had accurate, totally accurate transcripts, and it turned out that what he reported was very different. And also, when you look at Vindman's, uh, the person he reports to, said horrible things, avoided the chain of command, leaked. Uh, did a lot of bad things. And so we sent him on his way to a much different location, and uh, the military can handle him any way they want. Uh, Do you think he needs to face disciplinary action? It's going to be up to the military. We'll have to see. But if you look at what happened, I mean, they're going to certainly, I would imagine, take a look at that. But no, I think uh, what he did was just reported a false call. If you look at what he said, and then, and I'll tell you, the one worse was, uh, you look at Shifty Schiff. Take a look at what he did. He made up my conversation. And then we dropped the transcript, and he almost had a heart attack. <laughs>